Hello and welcome to another episode of what I am now calling Tinkering with Tech Tick. In this episode, I'm going to be going over a distance sensor, which is this little guy right here. There are four pins on it and it's very easy to connect up electrically and very easy to code. So we're going to get it, go over both coding it and wiring it up. I hope you're excited. First thing we're going to do is just plug this sensor right into the breadboard. This will make it easier for us to manage our connections and not have to solder anything or crimp anything in place. The next connection I'm going to want to make is I'm going to go from the ground pin on the sensor to my ground rail on my breadboard. That is, the ground rail is identified right next to the blue line. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take a 1K ohm resistor and go from the echo pin that is identified on the board into the next bus on this breadboard simply because we're going to need to make a couple more connections coming off of this line. We're going to keep a space after where I put this resistor because now we're going to connect another resistor. So this second resistor is going to go to one more resistor, which is going to go across here into ground again. So you should have a 1K ohm resistor, a space, then basically 2K ohms going to ground from there. So then now we're going to connect a pin connection in here, and this is going to go to the Raspberry Pi later on. Um, and after I show all these connections, I'm going to be sure to add a schematic so that it's easier to see kind of what's going on and how I'm connecting things. So now I'm just going to enter the ground line and we're going to connect it to the Raspberry Pi later. This is going to be my VCC line, and you can see that I'm struggling with this a little bit, but we'll get there. And then last but not least, into the breadboard will be my trig line, which is going to go in between the VCC and the echo. And this is again the schematic that kind of I just wired up, and now I'm going to show you where all the inputs go into the Raspberry Pi. So now we're going to connect our VCC to pin 2. Then we're going to go ahead and connect our trig all the way to pin 16. And you can see that I'm counting by my two tables. And I'll get there. Then I'm going to connect my echo pin to pin 18, which is obviously right next to 16. And finally, I'm going to connect my ground pin to pin 6. OK, so let's move on to the code. The first thing I want to identify is the trig and echo identification. So the way the sensor works is by sending an ultrasonic pulse from the trig then receiving the same pulse by the echo from the surface it bounced off of. The reason the echo and trig are identified as 23 and 24 instead of 16 and 18 is because the Raspberry Pi identifies them as GPIO pins, as shown in the schematic right here. The next thing I would like to cover is the way the sensor actually measures distance. When received, the pulse it doesn't automatically know the distance. It is actually measuring the time it takes for the pulse to be sent, then come back. After we have that time, we divide it by two to get the time it took to hit the surface, then we multiply it by the speed of an ultrasonic wave. Or as I have shown here, just multiply the time by one half the speed of an ultrasonic wave. And there you have it. Let's see this bad boy in action. So as you can see here, once I reach less than 10, because I added a while loop at the top of the code, the code will then automatically terminate because I've reached my minimum distance criteria. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Be sure to check out any other videos I have and maybe even subscribe to us on Patreon. Thanks and have a good one.